Hello, ladies, gentlemen, and all variations thereupon and thereof. I am Odralix, and today we are playing something a little different. It's a game, as you can see on screen, called Moirai. Or Moira? I, I don't really know how to pronounce it, but it's something. Anyway, I found this on Steam. Uh, it was really well rated, uh, said to be a very short game, I'm gonna wrap it up in this video. Um, and from what I heard, it was some kind of social experiment. Some people thought it was, but the comments and stuff also said that the, le the less you know about the game, the better. Because it's supposed to be a very personal experience, so I decided, why not catch that on camera? So let's go for it. Now I suggest that if you want to play this game you do that on your own before watching the video. I'll put uh, in the description my idea if you should play it or not so you don't have to watch the full vid before doing it. Anyway, let's begin. Alright, so how do I control anything? Okay, arrow keys. VSD. Okay, 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 okay. I see. I see, I see. Just let me. Give me a sec. There we go. Okay. What about you? Talk to priest. My prayers go to poor Yulia. It's been a year since her husband has passed. She hasn't been seen all day. I imagine she is grieving. Do you mind visiting her at her home? It is the house to the right as you leave town. Oh, sure, I can, I can do that. Oh, look, little child, little ginger. I need to stay close to Mama, otherwise she'll worry that we've run out. Oh, caring about his mama. Sweet kid. Did you hear about the boy? Yulia lost her son in the cave shortly after her husband died. Poor Yulia. Oh dear. I would never let my boys out of sight. You, uh, you, you aren't completely invading their ter- Like, you have to give them some privacy depending on the age, right? So, eh, and, uh, yes, keep them safe and happy and I don't have an opinion otherwise. Okay, it's another child. Sometimes daddy let us pat the sheep on the head. They're so soft. Oh, you're so sweet. Okay, so it seems this Yulia is what this is all about. So they said to touch that house. What about all these other houses? Ah, oh, whatever, I'll do it. The storyline says I should enter cabin. Oh, this is roomy. Or, well, not, no, not roomy. It's cozy. Wait, where? Where is she? Look at. You don't go in and look at people's bookshelves, bookshelves, but I suppose I will. There is a picture on the shelf of a wife, husband and young boy. I wonder where they are. Well, probably out in the village, or one of them dead, and the other one in the cave, and the other one somewhere. Yeah, yeah, I can see the picture, thank you. Hey, priest, what up? She wasn't there. Yulia is not home. Maybe she's out by the farm. If you could find her, that would be appreciated. Ah, uh, sure. Blah, blah, same thing as earlier. Blah, blah, same thing as earlier. Okay. Well, I'll just check the other houses then. Okay. Hello, little boy. I heard there's gold in the cave, but I'm too scared to enter. They say there's a little boy that haunts over your shoulder. Oh. That's, uh, that's uncomfortable. It looks like a lovely day outside. You should head out to the farm if you get a chance. Spend some time with the animals. Oh, seems nice, seems nice. I might just take you up on that. Now, what's in the last cabin? A little girl. My uncle and dad are out chopping wood to keep us warm in the winter. They should be home soon. Okie dokie. Nothing interesting there. Alright, out into the farm then. To the farm. 
Well, it's pretty much the only way I could possibly go, so... Yeah, why not? Out into the farm we go. What is this? Farm. Well, they certainly are not being very misleading with this. Oh, sheep. Poke uh. sheep. Why would I poke the sheep? I didn't mean to... Uh, I wanted to pet it. Open barn door. Oh, okay. Poke sheep. Poke sheep. Poke sheep. Eh, I'm not gonna poke the sheep. Oh, uh, there's something over there, but I wanna... I wanna check the barn first. The door is locked. Very well then. We'll just go the other way. Out of my way, sheep! You sheep sheep with your sheep furs! Oh, who are you? Well, you're a lumberjack, but... I don't remember how the song goes. Fuck. My brother and I were shopping wood when we heard moans coming from the cave. My brother went to investigate. He should have been back by now. I'm worried. Can you check on him? There's a lantern behind you on that stump. Oh, lantern on the stump. Very well. Okay, guess I'll just go to the cave then. Hey, you, come over here. Yeah, you're not creepy at all. Did my brother send you? Bless him. The mines are coming from further down. I'd go in, but my sight's no good. Mine neither, buddy. Alright. You should take this knife. Who knows? You may need it. You know, when a strange man offers you a knife in the middle of a cave, you know it's a video game. And I'm lost. That took all of three seconds. I am very disappointed with my say. Oh, there's a book. There's candles. Look at tools. There are some tools leaning against the wall. It looks as though they've been used to mark carvings on the wall. Oh! That's not a texture. That's... Oh! Dear Lord. That is not good. That is someone who's clearly gone pretty insane. I don't want to touch the book of place that I've gone insane, but I'm supposed to... There's a book on top of the cellar. It's labeled Farmers. There is a list of names inside. Is one of them John Peters? You know, the farmer. Sad guy, George Byron. Sad guy? Is sad guy a name? Zachary, how eerie. Yeah, I know, nothing, nothing more dangerous than those farmers. How eerie. Very, very, very eerie. Is there a jump scare behind me? No. Well, fuck. You ruined my expectations. Why would you do that? That's awfully rude, in my opinion. This is another room. Oh. Great, someone's crying. How about we do Is that me? I'm leaving. No, I'm not turning my back to this guy. A farmer approaches. Why do you have blood on your overalls? Why do you have a knife? I heard moans. What have you done? Nothing. Why do you have a knife? For defense. Why do you have a blood on your own? A woman spit it on me. Ah, let him pass. I, I'm gonna believe the guy. Because he looks to be in about the same position I am. Only bloody. So... Like, I, I, I know. It, it's creepy and stuff. But I take the right path here. Never mind, they all lead to the same. I probably shouldn't have let him pass. 
Uh, please help me. I am in a lot of pain. I came here to end my life. My name is Julia, and I want to see my child and husband in heaven. My husband was a miner in these caves. He spent days mining for gold, and then one day, he found something. <laughs> he found a golden nugget. I thought we could retire and be comfortable for the rest of our lives, but he didn't trust me. He buried the golden nugget to spite me. Then he disappeared. Everyone in town heard about our good fortune. They thought I was rich. I was so ashamed that I couldn't tell them the truth. One day, my son wandered into the cave. He wanted to find his daddy. He wanted to make everything better. But he never came out of the cave. I went to look for him, but I couldn't find him. Now, it's too late. Now I have nobody. Will you help me? Will you help me end my life? Oh! That's a conundrum. I mean, she's in a lot of pain and in a lot of suffering, but shouldn't we try to save her? Then again, we just seem to let the guy who did this go, so... No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm take giving help. Leave me your coat. Woman spurts blood at you. Oh. Oh. Is that what this game's gonna be like? I'm gonna run, get some help. A farmer approaches. Why do you have blood on your overalls? Honesty is the best policy. Nothing. Let me see what will happen to you. And that is where this story shall end. At least for now. It is up to the next player of this game to choose your fate, just as you chose for the previous player. To your first name. Odralix. Oh. Oh! Oh, that's how it works! That's amazing! That's really fucking clever! I, I just thought it was automated, so I guess... I just tried to answer in the same sense that the last guy did. Damn. I wonder if people continue the honesty policy. I, I'm gonna update you guys on this. In the next video, I'll tell you if I've gotten any, uh, any email updates. That is really cool, actually. Anyway, uh, that would seem to be everything about Morai. That is a really interesting concept. Holy shit, I would never have thought of that. Like, I, I knew there was something off that it would come back because he, he looked just like me. But I never expected that it had actually... Oh... That is clever, that is clever. You gotta give it to him. Yeah, this is probably a social experiment, to be honest. That's, uh, that's really interesting. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and joining me on this interesting little game. I, I really do think it could be a social experiment. I mean, they have a database for the answers, apparently. So, maybe. Uh, we'll see in the future, I guess. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, tell me, what would you have chosen in this game? Have you played the game? Have you chosen? What did you decide to do? Do you regret it? That's the kind of discussion I want to ha have with people about this game. It's really, really interesting. Anyway, that's all the time we got for today. So, thumbs up, I'm out. See you in the next video.